This is Will White from Illinois Extreme Storm Chasers. I'm here to show you guys how to set up your NOAA weather radios. Now, over the summer we've been talking a lot about how important it is to have a weather radio to get weather notifications and weather alerts either during the day or at night. So we'd like to show you guys also how to set them up. Um, this is my personal uh, weather radio. Um, it's a WR120. Um, I think any weather radio should really work. Um, they all do about the same thing. This is the one I got. I got it from Walgreens for about $20, $25. They're not too badly priced, but they do come in handy when it comes to severe weather updates. So, get out of the box. Usually you're going to have your weather radio plugged in. This is what it's going to look like when you do that. Now, I also recommend getting batteries for it, so if the power does go out, you still can get weather updates because if you don't have batteries you won't, you won't get anything, it won't turn on. So to put the batteries in, flip it over, pop the back off. These are just your AA batteries. This one takes three of them. There you go. So once you do that, you're going to need to set up your actual weather radio. So to do this you're going to hit menu it brings you to the first option which is set time. You can hit select that brings you into the time. Now you're going to use these arrows here to help you set the time so the over arrows will bring it side to side and then these up and down arrows will change the time up and down. Now notice what happens when I go when I hit midnight it's at a.m. If I go down to 11 it's p.m. So if you want to get it a.m. to p.m. this is how you do it. Um, it is currently 4.52 here. So if I bring this down to 4, over, up, to 5, over, 2, hit select, and you're done. Next option is set alarm. I've never used this thing to send alarm, so I'm not going to bother going through that this time. The next option is set language. If you hit select on that, you can see all the different options for languages. I guess there's only three. English works for me, so hit select, you're done. Next one is set location. If you hit select on this, you have the option for multiple, single, or any. I personally have only really used multiple or single. I currently have it set for single, and the same code right here is for the county in the county in that I'm in in Northwest. Uh, Indiana, that's where I currently am for school. Um, you can go back to set location, select multiple. And the difference between multiple and same is you can have multiple counties. So for this one, you have 1 through 25. You can put 25 different counties in. I do not recommend doing that. Your weather radio will be going off non stop. There's the fear weather event. So, I mean, when I was in northern Illinois, back at my home near Rockford I'd have it set for about four counties. I set mine for Winnebago for Rock, Green Counties in Wisconsin, Boone County, DeKalb, or, and, or Ogle. Those are areas around me that had kind of concerned me so if let's say weather was coming up from the southwest I get notifications from Ogle and DeKalb County and that's if that was moving northeast let's say I'd know it's coming towards me. Um, so this one's at zero, zero, zero. That's usually what yours is going to look like before you enter anything. You go up, you go down, that's what changes the numbers. Um, um, you're probably going to wonder how you get these codes, so I'm going to show you guys that next. So, I'm going to pan this up here really quick. This is the website right here for all the codes. Let's zoom this in a little bit. So, I'll show you guys how I got to this. If I go back. If you go into Google and you type in same codes Illinois, your first link that comes up is your NOAA Weather Radio County Coverage for Illinois. Select that and it gives you this page with a bunch of information. So your first one would be your counties. This one's for Illinois, so these are all the counties in Illinois. The next column is going to be your same number or the same codes. That's what you're going to enter into your weather radio. The next is the NWR transmitter. 
Um, some counties have multiple transmitters. It just depends on how big they are. Next would be a call sign. Then there's the frequency and the remarks. That doesn't really matter too much. So, for instance, if you went down to Winnebago County, the same code for, Illinois, for Winnebago County is 017201. But you can see that that's, there's multiple options for Winnebago. The same codes are all the same, but then there's different transmitters. So there's one in Rockford, Janesville, Freeport, and DeKalb. Those basically work as a radio station would. So these transmitters have all the different frequencies, which I'll talk more about later. So what you're going to do is, let's just show you guys an example here. I'll bring it back to my, back to the weather radio. So if you go here to select, nope, down, down. Yeah. Set location. Let's go to multiple and we'll go to the same code number 25 just for right now. Hit select and it's going to be 000. So I'm going to set this to the Winnebago same code which is 0 times 0 over. I'm going to go to 1 up for 1 over 7 over two, zero, over again, and then one. Hit select. And now I have my same code set for Winnebago County, and it's my same code number 25. Um, so that's how you set that. What I'd advise doing is either setting your, you're going to want to set it for the first ones usually, so one through whatever, or I go back, select. If you want to do single, just hit single, select on that go back down to same code one whatever now the reason why there's multiple options for a single same code is let's say you could set one I could set one for right now in Northwest Indiana set one here so that'd be my same set one but if I went back home I could set my second one here to a different one so if I'm back home I can set this same code instead of my first one and then I can get notifications for there as well so that's how that works. Hit select, hit select, or hit menu, and you're done with that. Next option for editing is your alert type. Hit select. On that, you have the option of voice, display, and tone. Um, I personally have voice set for mine. Um, it's just one I like a lot. Basically, what happens is if an alert comes in. It's going to, the tone's going to go off, and then after the tone stops, a voice is going to say, um, severe thunderstorm warning, tornado warning, tornado watch, advisory, so on and so forth. So that's what it does for this one. The display, what it does is, the tone's going to come out, after the tone's done, it'll just display what the warning and watch or advisory is here. The final one is just a tone. What that is, once the weather alert, once the weather alert comes in, the tone's gonna go off, but it'll continue going off until you hit this weather snooze button to turn it off. Um, I've used that one, and I've used voice. I personally like the voice one, but it's all personal preference. So hit select, and you're done with that. Go down. This is the alert test. So if I select this, that's basically what the tone will sound like. If you if it ever goes off, um, next after that is set channel. So when I was talking about frequencies, similar to how a radio works, if I select this, this is the frequency for this area in Northwest Indiana. The frequency is this right here. So let me get out of that real quick for you. Um, when you're setting up your radio. Look at the city you're in, the closest city to you. If you're not, if your city's not on there, look for the next closest biggest city and find the frequency, which is the second to last column on the right side. It'll be give you several options for your frequencies depending on your city. Set that frequency because it's similar to how a radio would work. If you get inside the range of that frequency, you won't pick it up. So that's why it's important to get the frequency closest to you. If I were to go back to the main area, I can click Weather Snooze. And, for Tuesday, partly sunny with a 30 and it'll give me the weather for that area or the forecast. They, they do often update this, so this is a good way 
to get weather updates for your area or the weather discussion. All right. The next thing is your backlight. Hit select on that. You can go backlight normal, on, or off. I just have mine set to normal. Nothing too important about that. Next one's your button beeps. Hit select, on or off. I have mine off. There's no point for me having them on. Um, the next option is your weekly test. Hit select, up or down, on or off. I personally have mine on. Um, the the weekly test is similar to how a tornado siren works on the first Tuesday of every month. They they put the sirens on, they test them to make sure they work. This is the same way. This happens weekly. For me, it happens on a Wednesday. So it'll, today's Tuesday, so tomorrow my weather radio will go off testing to make sure it works. I suggest having it on so you know you're getting your weather alerts and that it works. Um, and then go down again and you're at your set times so right at the beginning. Hit your menu button and you're out of that selection and everything is saved and good to go. So now, when you get a weather alert in, your weather radio is going to go off. To turn it off, to stop it from making the noise, you're just going to hit this weather button, snooze button, once. That'll turn it off. If I do it now, but only in the it gives you your weather. Lake. So, that's how that works. Um, if I hit this again, you can hear the volume. These buttons here, put the volume up and the volume down, so you can mess with that. Puts a personal preference there. Another thing you like to I like to show you guys is this right here, NOAA, and the voice thing. So this tells you that your weather radio is on. You can turn it on and off with this feature on the side. So on, off. Right now it is off. It doesn't show anything. Now it's on. Now. If you know it's on and you don't see this here, that means that you're not getting good signal in your area. This antenna here can help fix that. Now, if your antenna's up and you're still not getting service, try moving it closer to a window. That tends to help with getting a better frequency. If you're still not getting any service or it's still blinking like mine was just, just was, on the back end of this, you see right here, there's an area for an external antenna. You can buy these online. It helps extend your range for your weather radio. There's also a couple other options if you want to plug this in, let's say, to like a speaker system to get a, I don't know, if you want to plug in a speaker system so you can hear it, you can, I guess. Um, and then this other thing here just basically shows you that I have mine set to voice. That's the kind of alert you're getting, so voice or whatever. Um, so yeah. That is how you set up, and that is how you set up a NOAA weather radio. If you guys have any questions, please send us a message or comment below in the video. Um, we'll be happy to help you guys out. I'm going to try and post a link for at least Illinois for the same codes in the description below of this video. Um, again, any questions, let us know. Thanks. Bye.